satellite of your son? But weren't they your enemies then? Yes, but he did not recognize me and brought me to their headquarters instead, an old monastery in the mountains. The others were aware of my identity, but for whatever reason they did not kill me. Maybe because they thought that the death of the Lightborn had made me insignificant. I do not know. Still, even after my recovery, the dreams continued. At first, I doubted my sanity. But after some time, I the leader of the mages, Constantine, about them. And he said something that I'd never expected. Keep walking. He, as well as many others magically gifted on Vin, dreamed the same dreams. And the more we talked about the matter, the stronger our suspicion grew, which has now turned out to be the truth. The dreams, they come from the same place. They are a shared memory. A shared memory? You mean the dreams all originate from a, what, a common mind? A collective subconscious, yes. I know that you can feel it too, and probably far more intense than we do. But like you back then, we were not able to make sense of the images. So we went looking for answers in the remains of the civilization that was before us, the Pyrenees. Thus the excavations, like in old Russian grad. What did you find out? Three things. First, there were many civilizations before us and before the Pyrenees. Maybe hundreds, maybe thousands. Second, the history of each civilization unfolded and still unfolds according to a pattern. They emerge, they blossom, and at some point, at the apex of their existence, they simply disappear without any trace. And third, Everything that has happened in the past years, and which is still happening, indicates that this disappearance lies ahead of us. We are part of an eternal loop, a cycle, and our cycle is approaching its end. What? Okay. A pattern? You mean that the chronicles of each civilization are identical? Not identical, but one can split them up into episodes which repeat themselves in the very same manner, into patterns. So this is your explanation for the Red Madness? The wars? Yes, dramatically put, they're the envoys of the end. Hundreds of prophets have predicted the end of the world, and it never happened. I see why you would say that, and I felt the same way for a very long time too. But there came a moment when we simply could not deny it anymore. We began to study the history of the Pyrenees more intensely, and the parallels were extraordinary. In its early days, the Pyrenean Empire was split up by a disaster, just like Vin was split up by the Starfall after the reign of the Eterna. Also, the Pyrenees had a ruling caste who declared themselves gods after the catastrophe. The two castes of the Sun Priest, they, too, ruled until they were overthrown. This overthrowing was followed by an outbreak of wars and chaos. And then, just like that, the Pyrenees ceased to exist. They knew it was imminent, but they could not prevent it. They called this event the Cleansing. The Pyrenees knew about the threat 
why did they try to do something about it? Why didn't they try to do something about it? They tried, but they failed. Who knows why? Maybe they found out too late, or maybe they were too weak. How in blazes can an entire season civilization just disappear? That is the question we need to find an answer to. The end was not violent, at least not in a sense as we know it. There was no natural disaster, no magical explosion, no plague. Even though there was war in the Pyrian Empire before its ruin, when the cleansing happened, it was as if all living beings simply fell down and died. It is ghastly. Where do I come in? Where do these visions and my powers come from? Well, this is the reason why we need your help. Not only episodes of history recur within every cycle, characters do as well. Characters recur? Yes, the Pyrians call them the Emissaries. They emerge very shortly before the cleansing occurs, like a law of nature, an answer to the Red Madness. And I am one of them, as are you. While I take on the role of the ruler, you take on the role of the prophet. I'm supposed to be a prophet? It's just a description. Call it what you will. But without doubt, it is the truth. Your story matches the descriptions perfectly. That one will move it on, I can do the rest. And I take it this is the reason the Neremese mages are here, isn't it? Firespark, Pekast, Sharin? Yes. Former enemies or not, both sides have understood the magnitude of the threat. The magical knowledge of Narazul's former mages is vast, as is the power of the Holy Order. Even though not all of the Keepers agree, as you probably have already noted yourself. And why me of all people? I do not know. Firespark the Mage has told me your story. And even though your fate is tragic, unlike me, you were insignificant before your change. So maybe everyone can become an emissary, or we simply have not understood the pattern yet. If I play a role, does that mean that something is controlling me? Controlling us? No. As I already said, the emissaries simply appear at the beginning of the end, like pieces on a chessboard. We are determined by our skills. How and to what end we use them is our choice. And what defines this profit? On the one hand, your power. You carry the potential to master any skill within a fraction of the usual time needed. I assume you have already realized this. On the other hand, your ability to look into the past, and therefore into the future. Into the past, and therefore into the future? What do you mean? Your visions are a window into the past. And as every cycle is based on the same events, it is a window into the future as well. You can feel the thread this world is woven with. And because of that, you can see things that have happened and thus will happen again. This gift makes you indispensable to us. And it is why I want your help. And if all this doesn't interest me? Hollow words. Deep inside you know your responsibility. Trust me, we are more alike than you believe. Why do you think that we can overcome this cycle in the first place? After hundreds of civilizations have failed? That is the wrong question. The correct question is, what alternative do we have? To wait and die? I guess so. What's in it for me if I help you? 
If it is wealth and power you seek, you will have it. The Order has enough of both. Not particularly. This is not a decision I want to make based on a gut feeling. Give me some time. Or, I'm guessing that they're... I'm guessing that one will end the conversation, but I'll come back to him and continue it. Or, alright, if I can help, I will try to do, to do so. Yeah, I'll go with this one. Alright, if I can help, I will try to do so. Good. However, there's one more thing before the actual work begins. I want you to join our order, and to do so, you have to pass a test. A trial. Join your order? Is this really necessary? It is. Whatever you think about our story, we are the only faction that is strong enough to oppose the cycle. If you want to be part of our mission, you need to have access to our knowledge and resources. There will be voices in the Order speaking against your admission, as they are speaking against the presence of the Neremese Mages. Consider it an honor or a necessity. It is up to you. What kind of test? It is the trial the novices have to pass in order to be exalted to the role of a keeper. Only the best students of the squad are, are allowed admission, and even though you have not been a novice, I want you to take it too. At this very moment, two novices are on their way to the testing grounds. I have informed them about your arrival. Who are these two no novices? I have only a slight acquaintance with them. However, I know that they are both very talented and have been working hard toward the test. But see them for yourself. You've already informed them? How could you know that I'd agree? I had a hunch. Let us leave it at that. Very well. Where can I find them? At the border to the heartland, near the Whisper Wood. They will be waiting for you there. Take the Myret, talk to Signet Master Bartar, and hand him this package. And then follow his orders. Ah, oh, one more thing. It might be self-evident, but keep your knowledge about the death of the Lightborn to yourself. I do not believe you can do any real harm. But in the worst case, path-abiding people will consider you a heretic. After the cycle has been stopped, we will deliver it upon how we deal with the matter. If and how we tell our people about it. But not now, that is for sure. Now, leave. The sooner we can dispense with this formality, the better. Difficulty was the main quest? Two. I've done. Quests at difficulty two before.
be a very comfortable bed. No mattress. Yes? I'm just having a look around. Training room. Keep walking. I think I'm pretty satisfied. I've talked to everyone in the city. Is that you work for me? Now, if it isn't the hero of the farmer's coast. Well, your story about Hafner turned out to be true. That he really did poison Urius's cows. So a stable boy saw him do it, but was too afraid to report it. So, in case you really do care, Hafner will be on trial next month. And I doubt his sentence will be mild. Anyway, concerning your question, yes, there is more to do. Uncomplicated work, good pay. You interested? Help me in. What do you need me to do? Well, it's simple. At the moment, there's a caravan on its way to Ark, carrying Duneville fruit and peace wheat. I need you to deliver a message to the caravan's leader, Rodas. Then report back to me. That's it. Sounds pretty easy. What's the message about? That Skerrick men wear no underclothes when they venture into battle. I want you to deliver the message, not ponder on its contents. Understood? Fine, then. Where do I find this caravan? Well, that's up to you to find out. They should be on the Penny Road by now. Just a couple of days' ride from Ark. Just follow the road. You'll find them eventually. Good luck. Kind of glad that what I told them about Hafner, Hafner became came out true, because I didn't want to be one to be stre spreading rumors like that. I don't want to continue the main quest just yet. I'll. I won't do those ones yet. Not yet. No. Uh, I guess I can. I'll activate all those and we'll see which one is closest. Good 
Myriad Keeper. They're all the way up there. Find the caravan. Yep, caravan one's the closest. I still need to get the yellow butterfly wings and garlic. this one I want. Yeah, that's the Myriad Keeper. You're not the one I want. Some shifts never That's the one I want. Monsieur? Hopefully this is the right path I need to take. That deer just appeared out of nowhere. Just crashed. Let's try again. Don't really know what caused the crash either. OBS is running fine. At least I just exited the city. Yes. <sighs> I 
I remember there was a button to call your donkey, but I can't remember what the button is. There we go. L. Actually, I think last time I done it, I had, I, it, I went into the menu here, and, played the horse flute. Uh, what? Uh, okay. That was a little odd. Hopefully it doesn't crash this time and we can get out. And that deer appeared again out of nowhere. This is roughly where it crashed. A little... Just a touch further. It was about here. Good it hasn't this time. And it doesn't look like I'm on a road anymore. Uh oh. That was close. Ah, uh, okay. I think I need to save it a little bit closer. Can I see the note that they left me? Or that they want me to deliver? Yep. Rodus, I understand you, your concern. However, we both know that the bronze skinned will stop at nothing. It is a safer it is safer this way. And don't forget, Malthus protects the path abiding ones, just as he punishes the corrupted ones. I await you in Ark. I have a few things that I haven't read yet.
I wonder if I'd be able to beat those two um I forget what they're called in Skyrim. They'll have a different name in this, surely. Them. 